Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another super amateur tutorial or bucket spigot plugin tutorial. This is not actually a plugin. This is only how do you get Minecraft 1.9 since it released last week. So what you want to do is you want to use the build tools as provided by Spigot. It is a plugin that compiles Minecraft 1.9 as they cannot provide it to you legally anymore. But you're going to go to the website, scroll all the way to the bottom. I've already done two tutorials on this, but there's an even easier way provided by Demon Wave. It does require .NET 4.5, and it does only work on Windows. Sorry, Mac users. But you can download it here. Link is also in the Jibbles, so that's a shortcut to it. Once you have it downloaded, it's going to build make this exe file now you want to put this exe file in its own folder because it's going to create this other folder uh, along with it so we're going to go ahead and run this now if you want to use just the latest uh, stable build you can do that or you can drop this down and select 1.9 and then you're going to click run build tools keep that automatically checked for updates checked and it's going to go out and pull all the stuff together and compile it for you so we're going to let this run and then uh, we'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, so if everything runs correctly, you'll see this here, and it'll tell you where it saved it to, so a success. If you run into any errors, it'll show up here, and you can check into what that is all about. So we're going to go ahead and minimize this, and it's actually going to save it in this folder, so we're going to go in here, and then I ran it earlier and got 1.8.8. .8. If you select any other version, you can do that as well in here. So we got 1.9, so basically you want to just copy that to wherever it is that you want to run it to, so we'll just copy it back over to here and then you want to create a bat file so we're going to go new and then we're going to create a new text in here start and we're not going to change it and then we'll copy and paste this in here and we're actually going to change that to dash 1.9 dot jar and then hit save and then you want to change this to bat and then once that is done you can do start and it's going to start building that server. So now it stops because you need to go into the EULA, set this to true, and then hit save, and then start. And there you go. That is how you get 1.9. If you're on a host environment, you have to upload that jar to it and run a custom jar. Contact your host on how to get that set up any further. There's also a lot of support on Spigot. If you run into any problems, be sure to check that out. Jibbles will be in the description for more on that. This is Kaz reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless.